All right, guys, so today we are going to um, read through this case study um, of girls' education. And then you are going to do this section worksheet or student worksheet 3.3. Um, it's going to set us up for what we're going to be working on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So um, let's open this up really quick. You can read along with me. If you don't want to listen to me read it, obviously, um, you can read it yourself. Um, but I will read that in a second. Let me actually open this up and explain this worksheet. So after you read through um, the case study, this worksheet is um, a little bit outdated in terms of the developmental goals, but we've talked about that before with the United Nations, um, how they are constantly changing their developmental goals. Most of the time they're very similar. Um, we just came out with new ones in the past couple of years. And um, this is the last set, the millennial developmental goals, but it doesn't matter because there's still an education goal um, and it does still include women's education. So when it says MDGs, understand that's your developmental goals, the sustainable um, development goals that we have been talking about. Um, so I want to look at this really quick, um, read this, and then I will read the actual thing. You might not think so, but you were lucky to be able to go to school and get an education. Even though all children have the right to go to school, 67 million children across the world are still missing out on their education. The majority are girls. Education is key to fighting poverty. It provides children with skills and knowledge to improve their health and their lives. It also gives children the power to reflect and make informed decisions so that they can enjoy a better life. Education doesn't only benefit the child who receives it, it can improve the health and welfare of entire families and communities. For example, when girls are educated, they are more likely to earn higher wages, obtain better jobs, etc. Um, a single year primary school increases the wages people earn later in life by 5 to 15 percent for boys and even more for girls. Um, a child of a Zambian mother with primary education has a 25% better chance of survival than a child of a mother with no education. So what you guys are going to do um, is after we read through the case study, it gives us more um, detail. I want you to start to brainstorm what are reasons that girls are missing out on education. And it gives you some examples here, but I want you to think of your own. And I want you to fill out each of these spots with um, a reason. So you are going to do this. You are not going to submit this yet because you will submit this um, at the end of the entire assignment, which is Thursday. So you'll just add to this. Um, but keep this for yourself. Make sure you are filling this out. This is part of your points um, for the assignment. So if you do not have this, you will not get full credit. So let's read through this case study really quick. While there are actually more girls than boys enrolled at higher levels of schooling in rich nations, only about a third of countries worldwide have achieved gender parity in secondary education. Most of the countries that fall short are in the regions of Sub-Saharan Africa, South and West Asia, and the Arab states. In Afghanistan, the literacy rate for young women aged 15 to 24 is just 18% compared to 50% for young men. In Cote d'Ivoire and Eritrea, the ratio of girls to boys' enrollment is less than 0.7 to 1. Although the ratio is higher in the Oceania and the former Soviet republics, it has dropped during the past decade and is now lower than in 1999. Across the world, the secondary school completion rate is significantly lower for girls than boys, with gaps of around 10% in countries such as Bangladesh and Lesotho. A lack of education can trap children in poverty and increase vulnerability to disease and exploitation. Girls can drift into some of the worst forms of child labor. A major sector of employment for young girls is domestic work in third party households or fall prey to extreme exploitation, including slavery, forced marriage or prostitution. Educating girls, particularly beyond primary level, does not only improve their lives. It is one of the most effective ways of tackling poverty, promoting and promoting development. It boosts economies by increasing the numbers of skilled employees in the workforce. Educated girls are more likely to have better income as adults, to marry later, to have decision-making power within the household, and to rear fewer and healthier children. 
Studies have shown a striking correlation between mothers' education levels and the number of children who die before their fifth birthday. There are a number of factors that can contribute to girls missing out on their education. Poverty can mean that children are forced to work or stay home to help their families. In some countries, parents faced with the choice of sending a son or daughter to school often choose to send the boys as they believe he will have a better chance of being a provider for the family. Girls, on the other hand, are seen in many countries as being more suited to looking after younger siblings, older relatives, and domestic chores. Cultural attitudes and practices that promote early marriage and or are weary of coeducation can also encourage the exclusion from schools of girls from schools. Access to education is also lower for girls and boys who live in rural areas. Inadequate water and sanitation facilities and the safety of the journey to school can also be barriers, particularly particularly in areas where sexual violence is frequent. The picture is not all bad. Efforts to achieve the Millennium Developmental Goals have resulted in tangible improvements in the lives of thousands of girls around the world. MDG 2 calls for all children to have access to primary education. MDG 3 aims to eliminate gender disparity in both primary and secondary education. In Malawi, the abolition of primary school fees led to a doubling in girls' enrollment. In Sierra Leone, a situatory requirement making secondary school compulsory significantly raised attendance by girls. In Bangladesh, the female secondary school stipend program helps girls and their families to cover the cost of education. And in Nepal, an increase in female teachers has helped to slash the gender, the gender gap in secondary schools. Change is possible, and ensuring that girls have access to education remains a priority for the UN. Okay, so that is all I have for you. I want you to go ahead and take some time to brainstorm. Um, we will be going over this in class. We're going to brainstorm as a class, so I want you to kind of do this on your own. Um, and that is all I have. If you want to start reading um, this, you can go ahead and start reading it. This is the assignment that we'll be working on. But keep in mind, you don't have all of, I have not gone over this yet, and I'm not going to go over it until tomorrow. So you can look through it, you can think about it, you know, think about maybe a campaign you would want, and then we will go from there.